So uh, welcome to Vanny DeVito. Um, Vanny is a super long wheelbase high ace, so a bit longer and a bit higher than the uh, standard high ace, uh, but very much the same. In terms of driving Vanny DeVito um, compared to the standard um, high ace, just a couple of things to be aware of. Um, I mean, obviously the cab's a bit bigger, so you have this overhead storage area inside here, which is handy. Um, but other than that, it's much the same. Um, and Vanny's been fitted with the um, aftermarket reverse camera here, which will run all the time. And again, it, it'll be on all the time. If you hear any noises and that, it is a volume, you just turn the volume down. And Vanny also has a uh, cooler in the front here, which you can use if you want to keep a few drinks cool as well. Um, other than that, it's uh, the standard way of driving. Once you're inside the uh, camper van area of Vanny DeVito, the main thing to be aware of is the control panel and the inverter. So you've got all your control switches in here and your gauges and a 1500 watt inverter. Um, the inverter is on as you can see at that point and also providing power to the four point power board. But you have everything in here, the fridge. Fridge one is the main fridge. Fridge two is a cooler in the front and you have the kitchen, the hot water system and the pump. Um, all those things um, should be on when you need them, like the fridges, and everything else should be left off and only switched on when you need them, such as the water pump and the hot water system. Um, everything runs very well from there. Um, all the fairy lights run from the inverter and the fridge and freezer is a, a very handy um, home-like unit. All the freezer's up here and the rest of this fridge thermostat controllers inside. Um, that's that side of Vanny and uh, we'll show you through the rest of it. So Vanny's kitchen setup is um, pretty cool. Um, you unstrap that and you can slide out the, uh, the uh, gas cooker. So you've got the gas cooker here uh, we've got the kitchen stored in here and the um, connection for the gas cooker. Um, it runs to this kitchen area which opens, but the gas bottle is stored in here. So the gas cooker will need to be connected to the gas bottle. The 4.5 kilo gas bottle is stored uh, safely and plugged, which is how it should be when you're transporting or anything or driving the vehicle. When you want to use it, you pull the plug out and connect the, um, the gas cooker or the hot water system, whichever one you're using. And when you're finished using it, we recommend um, unplug it um, and put the plug back in, turn the gas bottle off when it's not in use. Um, you've got some overhead compartments here for storage as well. Um, and you've also got a sink and a tap, which we'll come to in a moment. Uh, but we'll take you around and show you the back of the vehicle now. So inside the back of Vanny DeVito, there is a stack of space. You've got an enormous bed with a custom mattress you'll get a great night's sleep on. Uh, you've got these drawers, which have got um, quite a lot of room. All the items that you get with Vanny are in here. The hose, the power cable, the sink, the mallet, the tent pegs, dust pans, etc. Uh, the chairs are stored in here. There's two stools under there which are perfect for just pulling this table out and uh, sitting on the stools here and having a dinner or a cup of coffee. Uh, there's also an additional table stored in here, which you can have. But you can see there's an enormous amount of storage space under the bed as well, and plenty of headroom in the uh, back area. Uh, we'll take you through and show you the other side. So with Vanny DeVito, there's um, a little bit going on here, but uh, this is a filler. So you have a uh, nice big water tank, uh, 54 litres in there, and this is where you can use that hose to fill the water tank, and the overflow is under the vehicle when it's full. Uh, when the hot water system's on, this is the control unit here. Uh, as we say, you can set the temperature, 40 is a good temperature, and what that allows you to do is use the hot water only tap um, to have a nice temperature of water, not super hot water. 
That way you don't have to try to mix the water temperature. Just use hot water at 40 degrees is a nice temperature. The shower heads here it has an on-off switch so you can conserve water. And of course Danny has a shower awning right here so you can have a um, open up the awning, extend the arms and you've got um, a nice private area to use for the porta potty or for the shower. Um, Danny has a sink, um, again with a flick mixer, and the sink has a drain which comes down to here and will drain under the vehicle where you can use a bucket to catch it or you can turn that off if you want to not drain the water out at a particular point in time but open and you can drain it onto grass or um, run it into a bucket if you need to. Um, so everything set up in here is pretty good. Remember when you're running the hot water system and you've connected it to gas, this is the exhaust. So this the van must be fully open and ventilated to use the instantaneous gas hot water. There's no storage to it. And that's where hot exhaust fumes will come out. So you need to make sure the van is fully open and ventilated. Uh, Vanny comes with a porta potty stored inside here and uh, take that off and the porta potty comes out and works like any porta potty um, you need to make sure you put a bit of water in it for flushing and there's a pump action for that uh, but yeah pretty much any porta potty works like that and lock that back in place um, so pretty much um, there are most things with Vanny Vanny does have a roof vent um, which you can open by twisting, it has a fly screen on it. Um, very important to have some ventilation at night. Um, so having the vent open an inch to give you that ventilation, uh, but also make sure it's closed when you're driving. Um, very important to do that. Um, in terms of ventilation in Vanny, you have the fan over there as well, which you can use for um, air circulation, the vent for ventilation. And also um, we have the windshield visors that you can leave your window down an inch or two um, to give you some extra ventilation and if you are going to use a 15 amp cord to run inside Vanny to run some of your appliances at a powered site uh, we recommend you leave this down an inch or two and that's where you can run the power cord into the vehicle so um, pretty much that's everything with Vanny and um, on behalf of the Apex Van Life team safe travels